There's been an explosion of collaborative consumption, web-powered sharing of cars, apartments, skills, etc. Joining me down the line is Rachel Botsman, who explores the currency that makes systems like Airbnb work, trust, influence, and what she calls reputation capital. Rachel, these interactions are based on trust, but there's no regulations when it comes to this. So how is quality control guaranteed? Surely this system comes with its fair share of risk, no? These systems, they have interesting models of um, sort of traditional assurance structures. So whether that's insurance, um, guarantees, refunds, customer service. But really what makes them work is these peer-to-peer -peer systems that are forms of self-regulation. So not only do I rate hosts, but hosts rate guests. Not only do I rate drivers, drivers rate me as a passenger. And these create these really interesting systems of accountability that we're just beginning to understand. That yes, there's many risks and downsides that we have to figure out. Out, but they have the potential to create new systems of accountability that, that generally change our behavior, that generally make us behave better. What does collaborative consumption mean for traditional business and the economy? There's two main significant implications for traditional business. One is to ask themselves, is their business model and their consumer behavior, is this still relevant? So what we see in so many collaborative models is this shift from sort of top-down centralized institutional power where companies control the creation, production, and distribution of goods from end to end. And what we see in the collaborative economy is that gets blown up and power and access gets distributed in these networks and marketplaces. We've seen this play out in media, we're seeing it playing out in education, we're seeing it play out in professional services and so on and so forth. But the second and the really big one for many companies to get their heads around is, is this notion of trust. So, so many companies are built on institutional trust, the relationship between a company and a customer. And so when they lose control over that relationship, or customers start to say, traditional licensing, traditional brand, traditional regulation is not what I'm looking for um, in terms of assessing that person, that product or that service. That is a fundamental challenge to the way these businesses are wired, the way that they function.